So. Kazim's still thinking about it. He'll make the call. The river. Coming, and it is a five of diamonds. And Kazim will win this pot as long as he stays in. But let's see if Bruce Lee is going to put any pressure on him, and he will. He's all in and puts the ultimate pressure on Kazim. And this is going to be a tough call for Kazim just with top pair and average kicker. King with a 10 kicker. And Bruce Lee. Wow. Great bet by Bruce Lee. Telling the story the whole way. The aggressor the whole way. And making all the pressure in the world. The only way he can win is by getting Kazim to fold. Kazim's still thinking about it. Huge pot, $737. Plus the side pot. Uh, that, that's included the side pot. Still thinking about it. Got to go through his hand. You know, you could definitely have a king with a better kicker for sure. With the 10 kicker is really what's causing a lot of challenge there. He looks like he's contemplating folding. Kazim with about 250 behind. And that would be for all of his chips because Bruce Lee has him covered. Bruce Lee with the huge bet on the river. And he makes the, ooh, he does make the call. And Bruce Lee is going to show the queen. And Kazim is going to show the king. And Bruce Lee, what an excellent bet. Put mo a lot of pressure, almost got him to fold. But Kazim, with the great call, will win a monster pot, the biggest pot of the night so far. And he's going to get an extra 250 some odd dollars from Bruce Lee along with the rest of the pot, $877. And Bruce Lee is going to rebuy and top off. Remember uh, the max buy-in uh, for uh, sitting down at this table was 300 Players could buy from $1 to $300. And uh, that's how we do it at one, two tables here at the Lodge. Rick Epstein here. Usually my partner, Mike Reisman, is uh, the expert. I'm going to have to deal with me tonight until we get another expert in the room and we think maybe somebody will be joining me later on this evening. Dave Klaproth is running the show. The the executive producer of all of our Poker Night at the Lodge broadcasts. Ruth is on the button. 1-2 we're playing right now. Call By EPS Dave with 8-5 offsuit. Grant Slick, 10 deuce. And Ruth on the button will fold. Zidonkey looks like he's going to raise it up with pocket threes. See what he does here. Zidonkey raises it up to 20. Joe will make the call with king four of spades as does FPS Dave with 8-5 offsuit. So three players will go to the flop. Frank will show us 7-7 seven, seven queen. 
So Zidanki with his pocket three still in the lead, and he'll be first to act. Zidanki has, wears more rings than any other person I know of. Great guy in a sling lately because he uh, got a little injured there. We wish him all the best. A six on the turn. And now FPS Dave has an open-ended straight. Zidanki still in the lead with pocket threes. We'll make the bet. Zidanki of $65 over to FPS with the open ender. And he says, I might take a look at this. He does. FPS Dave looking for a nine or a four or an eight or a five. He doesn't know that. A jack. And Zidanki with his pocket threes is going to win this. He'll go all in. And the quick fold by FPS Dave and Zidanki shows his his pocket threes and will take it down and also earn the button. And we'll go on to the next hand. Frank is the dealer. Frank uh, has a lot of experience, as do many of our dealers here at the Lodge. Frank came from Vegas, and he also dealt on cruise ships. I believe he dealt at uh, you know, the Orleans back in the day in Vegas. And so many of our dealers are coming from all parts of the country because, you know, frankly, poker right now is, is booming in Texas and not doing so much in, in other, parts of the, uh, other parts of the world. We've got seven people watching the screen right now. We want to appreciate it. Let us know you're out there and share this with your friends. Tell them we've got uh, Poker Night at the Lodge live streaming. We're still testing out our equipment for our live stream. We're getting a little bit better each and every week. Maybe not the commentary, but definitely the quality of the video and the presentation. As we've got 1-2 action. Kazim has so many chips, he's going to need to color up soon. He had that huge pot where he made the call with a pair of kings, and he'll make the raise, Kazim does, to 25 FPS. Dave will call. Dylan will fold. Bruce Lee with pocket fives will make the call. And Ruth looks down at pocket tens and just calls over to Zadonki on the button. Says, I like to play buttons, so I'll call with my 7-3 suited, as does Joe. So a lot of players go into the flop, six of them. We'll go to this flop, each putting $25 into it. 152 in the pot, queen 6-4 on the flop. And FPS Dave flops top pair. And Zidonki flops a gut shot, as does Joe. But you'll notice the card that Zidonki needs, there's already three of them that we're seeing. So there's only one left. So he's in a, a world of hurt there. Looks like Joe will go all in for his 159 with basically a gut shot. Deuce five, and he'll take a sip of his beer. There's the call by FPS Dave with the top pair, the Queens. Ruth will go out with the pocket tens. And Zidonki will throw his cards in. So now we got all in and a call, and the now we'll just see what Frank will do at Turn and River. He's going to ask the players what they want to do. Sometimes they run it twice, three times, whatever. A seven. And a nine will not do anything for Joe's hand. And FPS Dave will show his two pair, Rivered his second pair, and FPS Dave will take all of Joe's chips. And Joe will, looks to be coming back because he left a bunch of his tip chips there. Austin Wildchild has left us in seat eight, so we may 
want to fill that seat and uh, keep the table full. We've got a lot of players in the house that may want to be a YouTube star here on Poker Night at the Lodge. Every player at the Lodge must wear a facial covering. You know, we're trying to be as safe as possible. Temperatures are checked at the door, so come in and uh, your temperature will be checked and you'll be asked to wear a mask over your nose and the mouth. Uh, a lot of people wear the mask these days but don't cover their nose and uh, it's not the best way to wear them. Looks like we've got a raise to 15 by Grant Slick and get a call by FPS Dave with Jack-9 offsuit. Ace-Jack versus Jack-9 and there's the ace. Ace, eight, six, two spades. Grant Slick will take that pot down and we'll go on to the next one. As we mentioned, the chips on top of the button are not a, a button straddle. Those are for the dealer in the event that the player who has is on the button wins the hand and the dealer will be able to claim those chips. It's kind of just a, a fun way to tip the dealer and, and keep it going and, and increase it and... Uh, just a fun way to, to tip them. Got about 13 people in the in the chat. Corona Dental Arts says good luck all and appreciate you being part. I don't know what Frank's doing there. Frank is waiting for a replacement card, I guess. Each card in the uh, deck holds a chip inside of them, a RFID chip. And what the players do is when they get the, the cards, they take them and they rub them over the little disc in front of them that looks like a little poker chip. Each player has a little poker chip on, on the felt and under that poker chip symbol is a sensor. And that's how we are able to read the cards through the RFID table and the magic of technology. So as you see the players get their cards, they take it and they rub it over the little sensor there. And that's how we're able to read the cards. 1-2 is what we're playing. Into Bruce Lee, who will make the fold. Ruth will also make the fold over to the donkey. He'll call. Kazim on the button will fold it. And now we'll go to the blinds. And we'll go three ways to the flop. Playing 1-2 here. You'll notice uh, the 1-2 here plays maybe a little bit higher than some 1-2s. Uh, and our, certainly our 1-3 games here at the Lodge play more like a 2-5 or even a 5-10 some nights. Uh, in, in some casinos that you might be familiar with in Las Vegas and around. People like to throw some chips around here at the Lodge. It's a lot of fun. Three players to the river. King on the river. We haven't seen e any of the players' cards this hand. So we'll see them right now. Looks like the queen will win it. And we'll go to the next hand. Thank you for the comment. Uh, nice commentary so far. Very good streaming and looks professional. Nice job to the lodge. Thanks so much. Uh, pass it along. We're, you know, we've got a lot of episodes already. I think 15, 16 episodes where we we do a final table of our weekly Sunday tournaments and. We edit those, and uh, those are very well done. We haven't done too many live streams, and that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to do at least one live stream each week and at least one recorded and edited episode. So this is why we're practicing tonight to try to get uh, good. And usually there's more than one commentator, so you won't have to listen to more than – you won't have to just listen to one voice. So we've got a couple jacks and fives calling. FBS Dave looks down at 10-8 of diamonds. 
and we'll call. Grant Slick raises to six with the queen five offsuit. Back over to Dylan, and here we go. Contact. Bruce Lee looks like he's going to make it 40. And over to FPS Dave, who will make the call. Another caller. So we'll have four players. All of a sudden, this pot is about $165. Frank will give us a flop. Jack 10-5 with two spades. And you'll see some of the players might be pulling up the live stream. But just so you know, we are on a 20 to 25 minute delay. So what they're looking at happened 25 minutes ago. 85 is the bet by Bruce Lee. The donkey will fold, as does know, FPS Dave. Might be thinking about it. Don't know what his hand is. He's going to make the call here. Jack 10-5. We'll make the call, and we'll go heads up to the turn. Turn looks to be an eight of clubs. Jack 10, eight, five. And Bruce Lee goes all in. A snap call by FPS Dave. And let's see what Bruce Lee has. Four, six. Pocket kings for Bruce Lee. Four six made the call looking for a seven. Does not make it. They're gonna run it twice. And kings and eights are gonna win the second board too. Don't quite understand the snap call by FPS Dave. I mean he he had a four six. He was he was looking for a seven and a seven only. Interesting. I mean it it wasn't even a close to being a, a thought process. It was Bruce Lee made the bet, and FPS, they've snap called it. And even if it was a bluff by Bruce Lee, you've got a six high. So, interesting. We'll have to figure out that thought process. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if I'm missing something on that snap call on the all-in with a basically a gut shot to a low straight. Greetings from Kentucky from Lisa Dosamontes. Hope to be back there soon. Thank you, Lisa, for tuning in. Send this out. Share it. We've got uh, 14 people watching to tonight and uh, that'll grow throughout the night we'll be on a few for a few hours maybe we'll go on a little past 11 central time right now it's about 9 15 on november 21st here in round rock texas round rock texas is it's basically austin texas it's hard to know where austin and round rock meet uh where one ends and the other begins but round rock texas austin texas the 11th largest city in the united states soon to be in the top 10 probably in the next uh, five to six years. Growing tremendously when I first moved here in 1975, 250,000, and now uh, multi-million in, uh, in the metro area, the 11th largest city in the United States. Looks like we've got a raise by FPS Dave. I'm sorry, the donkey made the raise to 10 with Jack 10 suited, and we've got four other callers, so five will go to the flop. Frank the dealer, Jack eight deuce, two spades. Zadonkey, who was the initial better, hits his top pair and is, as you see, 57% to win this hand. 
He'll make a good continuation bet of 35. And that will be enough to do it. He'll take it down. And we'll go on to the next hand. FPS Dave says flush draw. So maybe that's what I, I missed. Okay. That's okay. Maybe I, I didn't see the flush draw out there. All I saw was the was the gut shot straight. And that's why I usually like to have another person in the booth with me so he can correct me. <laughs> we'll go on to the next one. We've got our viewership is up to 16 now. We'll go on. We're playing 1 2 here at the Lodge Poker Club. It's a members only social club in Austin. We've got 30 big screen TVs, 20 tables, and it is Austin's largest poker room. The casino gambling is not uh, in Texas, so we the card room phenomenon. Phenomenon happened about uh, five, six years ago where a loophole was found in the law. And uh, actually, it wasn't a loophole. It just just uh, the social club where you're paying a fee where there's no rake involved. And that's how uh, these clubs are, are making it. Uh, there is no rake being taken. So you're, it's basically think of a country club. You join a country club. You pay a monthly fee. To be in that club and poker games can happen. Poker is legal in Texas as long as there is no rake attached to it. So we'll go to the turn. Looks like Ruth is ahead with her queen and nine, the nine, and the three on the river. And Ruth, as long as she stays in this pod, she's going to turn it over and show her nine and take the whopping $10. And be proud to take it. Ruth, tremendous, tremendous poker player. Uh, a lot of tournament success. Uh, she is part of the, the Ladies Poker Association. Uh, she's been very active in promoting poker uh, throughout her, her life. And she, she loves the game. She goes to Las Vegas. She plays in a lot of tournaments and has had tremendous success so Ruth uh, everybody likes Ruth and she she is a fierce competitor let me tell you on the poker table so now again the the chips that are on top of the button are going to be for the dealer in the event he's able to uh, the the button player wins the hand the dealer will be able to take those chips Kazim looks down at 10-8. We'll make the call. FPS will also call with its 9-6 offsuit, as does Grande Slick, Queen-9 suited. Bruce Lee looks down at 10-4 on the button. Over to the donkey, who will 3 to call is Deuce-5 offsuit. Getting a lot of value for his $3 there. As he'll make the call with six players going to the flop for $3 into a $30 pot. 10 to 1 and uh, deuce 3 6. Grande Slick has a flush draw, Queen 9 of clubs. And FPS Dave will make the bet of 15. He is called by Grande Slick, and he'll also be called by Zidonki, who has, now he has two pair, but a flush draw is hit by Grande, and Zidonki has two pair. 20 $25 is the bet. Called by Zidonki with two pair. FPS Dave folds. So now Grande Slick with the flush already. A two or a five is needed. Does not come. And Grande Slick is going to win this pot with his queen high flush. Four line, uh, one liners to the straight. That's your name. 
Grande Slick, thinking about how much he can bet, makes it, looks like 45. And Zudonki with two pair, looking at a flush draw, look, look, looking at a flush possibility, looking at a straight, a four will make a straight. Uh, lots of things beat him here. But $185 pot, 45 to call. Basically getting five to one to make this call. Just have to be right one out of five times for it to make sense. He'll see the bad news as Grande Slick shows him the flush. Each of these players uh, signed up uh, at the front today to, when we said we were going to do a live stream. They wanted to be part of it, and uh, we're so glad that they, they, they were, and, uh, and we're, we're glad to have them. As you notice, the lodge is really ha hopping. Uh, the table right behind the, right behind the live stream table is Big O. So if you like... Five card Omaha high low. We've got a game going around right now here at the Lodge Cash Game, and then we've got many Hold'em games. We've got two tournaments still in action. One is our Saturday $150 buy-in, 100 entries today, $15,000 prize pool. Somebody's going to walk out of here at the Lodge uh, winning that tournament. Uh, I think $4,800. Looks like we have a raise from FPS Dave. He three bets it to 30. Back over to Bruce Lee. 30 to call. He's going to raise it up. Bruce Lee looks like he's going to make it 85. Ruth will fold, as does Zidonki and Joe. Back over to Kazim, who started this whole thing with a $15 bet. All of a sudden, it's 85. He's got a bunch of chips that he one earlier in a huge pot. Looks like he's going to raise call. He's going to call the 85. And back over to FPS Dave with pocket nines. Pocket queens versus pocket nines versus ace king suited. This is a chance for a lot of chips to be put in here if the right cards come out. Three players will go to the flop. The flop comes, deuce five seven, all low cards. So Bruce Lee still out in front, fifty two percent to win. All in by FPS Dave with his pocket nines. He's got to think he's maybe good here with a seven high board. That's beautiful flop for pocket nines. But Bruce Lee is kind of licking his chops, wondering how much he could raise to get Kazim to still call. I believe that's what he's thinking right now because he's definitely calling. He's just wondering how much could he get possibly out of Kazim because Kazim's playing got him covered. Bruce Lee has about $540 remaining, and he's going to raise it up here. I knew the raise was coming, just a matter of how much. Looks like... $222 is the big bet now. Maybe 223 Now Kazim will need to call 223 There'd be a side pot if he makes this call. Because FPS Dave is already in for his last 88. Kazim will lay down his ace-king, and now Bruce Lee will only have to match the $88 that... Uh, and, <laughs> and FPS Dave is saying, can we run it three times? And I don't know if they're going to run it three times. Looks like they are. The first one will go to Bruce Lee with queens and fives. Second one will go to Bruce Lee with queens and fives. And the last one will go to Bruce Lee with kings and queens. So Bruce Lee will scoop it 
all three pots if the way that would work is if uh, one of the players won one of them and the other won two of them uh, they get one third and the other player would get two thirds but in this case Bruce Lee won all three chances at this pot they ran it three times the lodge allows players to do that as long as both players agree and a scooper by Bruce Lee and he's going to stack up the chips and the FPS Dave asked the chip runner to bring him 300 more chips looks like we're going to have a new player in seat 8 coming in I see chips and uh, they're getting situated here as players move out new players come in How's the booth solo? It's, you know, I, I wish I had uh, somebody else with me, but uh, I'm hanging on, you know, I'm doing the best I can. And hopefully I'm not uh, boring too many people. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I, I hope everybody out there has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hopefully you'll get to at least talk to your family, if not visit them uh, my favorite holiday of the year, food, football, and no gifts. You know, that's, that's basically uh, what I love about it. Notice that a lot of players do have their phones on the rail, and that's okay because we are on a delay. Even though it's a live stream, it's not live. It's, we're on about a 25-minute delay here, so... Players, you know, they, they, they want to see themselves how they played a hand in the past. They It's not how they see it now. 10-8-3 on the flop. Looks like Joe flop top pair with his 10-6 suited. Kazim had a huge pot earlier. And that's why he has all those chips. Each player could maximum buy in to 300, up to 300, and 8 on the turn. Pot is still sitting at $12. There's a bet by Joe of 15, and it's over to Kazim with a 7 of diamonds. He's contemplating making a call. I don't know. Unless he doesn't know he has cards, he'll fold. FPS Dave with 6-7 will make the call. As does Ruth. And it's over to the donkey on the button. So we'll go four ways to the river. Pot is about 59 bucks. 74 bucks, I'm sorry. And a nine on the river. And FPS Dave makes the straight. Recently acquired. And he's going to raise it up as Joe bet 55 with his top pair. Two pair, actually. Tens and eights. And FPS Dave will raise it up with his straight. And Joe will toss it in. So Joe took a stab at it. FPS Dave hits his straight and will take down that pot. Let us know where you're from. I always like to know uh, where folks are viewing us from. We heard Kentucky. Uh, earlier and uh would love to hear from from you so let us know in the live chat and what you're doing on this saturday night other than watching the lodge poker club poker night at the lodge live stream one two frank as we mentioned uh dealt a lot in vegas i uh, know at the orleans and then he dealt on some cruise ships but we've got so many dealers from around the country a lot coming from Vegas, a lot from up east, the Boston area, the Maryland area. We've got several supervisors from uh, the Boston and Maryland area uh, because poker is just not happening right now due to the pandemic. And uh, really the poker jobs are flourishing here in Texas with all the poker rooms. So we're gaining so many great dealers and uh, 
supervisors from all around the country that are coming to the great city of Austin. We're one of uh, several card rooms just in Austin, and then there's a bunch in Houston and Dallas, all over the state. So lots of opportunities for dealers and supervisors here in Texas right now as Ruth will make the call. Grande Slick made it 20. Ruth calls the 20 on a flop of 3 8 10, two diamonds. Ruth with the flush draw. And Kazim will make the call with a pair of 10s. Actually in the lead right now. Top pair with the, the great kicker, the king. There's a three of hearts. And let's see what Kazim does. Kazim checks $60 from Grande Slick with a pair of eights. And Ruth... Folds her flush draw. And over to Kazim now. 89% favorite to win. He'll make the call. River is a four. Not going to help Grande Slick. Kazim will win this pot as long as he remains in it. Grande Slick will fold. So Kazim wins another pot. Adds to his multiple chip stacks. And after buying in for 300, he's sitting close to a thousand right now. Not a bad few orbits for Kazim. Green chips are 25, red chips are five. Once we start some color ups, you'll see black chips in play. They're a hundred, and maybe even later on. Purple chips would be 500, and we even got some $1,000 chips that are yellow. Not probably not too much in this 1-2 game, but we've got some other bigger games that you'll see a lot of chips. So we've got a raise now from FPS Dave with the Ace-King offsuit and a Kornikova. The donkey will make the call, as does Joe. Looks like the bet is 17. Kazim will fold it. So we'll go four ways to the flop. Don't know what the donkey has. We'll see what it is. Here's the flop. Jack, queen, seven. So FPS Dave with a gut shot. 85% to win. Don't know what the donkey has. Let's see what he does. He, he folds. That's what he has. FPS Dave is going to take a stab at it and call. So we'll go heads up to the turn. Nine of hearts. Now the board is straightening and flushing and all sorts of great things. Let's see. All in from Grande Slick. And fold by FPS Dave. So FPS Dave will now be the button. Grande Slick, Big Slick, Ace King. Got about 19 people now. On, love to hear from you. My name is Rick Epstein. I am the one of the hosts of Poker Night at the Lodge. I'm running solo tonight. Unless somebody decides to pop in here and join me in the booth. We've asked a few, few players, and uh, they're playing right now. They said, hey, I, I don't want to lose money by ducking in there. Because if I get off the table, I'm losing money. Bruce Lee looks down at ace five suited under the gun. Will fold it. Ruth looks down at ace four suited and says, I can play that. Got a new player in. Next is the donkey. Tow truck. Queen three suited. Tow truck with a nice watch. Big old watch. 
Raise it up by Kazim. Actually, Tow Truck raised it to 25. Came in the game and already causing some mischief. And we got a lot of callers. We got, I believe, five callers to the flop. Deuce, three, king, rainbow. And looks like Tow Truck with his queen three is in the lead. And he'll make it 40, the continuation. Kazim will call with his ace five. He's got a gutty. A four to the wheel. And FPS Dave with a 6-3. Middle pair. Backdoor flush draw. Ruth will make the call. She's looking for a wheel, a wheel card. And she hits the wheel. Ruth smashes the wheel on the turn. 89% to win this pot. As long as she stays in, she's also got the nuts spade draw. And Tow Truck, who also has a spade draw, doesn't realize a nuts spade draw is sitting to the right of him. He'll make the all-in bet. Looks to be about 255. 233, actually. Over to Kazim, who's sitting with ace five. Straight draw and a pair of fives. He'll let it go, of course. FPS Dave will let his pair of threes go. And Ruth will snap call. She's in great shape because there's no way she can lose. They're going to run it, looks like, twice. And Tow Truck's going to see the bad news. Straight got higher for Ruth there. And a queen is meaningless queen on the river. And Ruth's wheel and six high is going to win both opportunities. And she's going to win $477. And Tow Truck just got to the table. And he's going to be calling out for some chips. He made a very, a, a very, a, a good bet, uh, but didn't realize that the nut flush draw and wheel were already in the hand. The wheel, of course, wasn't folding, and the, certainly with the nut flush backup, basically was a very easy call for Ruth, and Ruth is going to take a lot of chips down. I know she was a little upset. She got knocked out of the... $150 buy-in tournament uh, today, and but this will make up for it. You know, nice pot in a cash game for your buy-in on your tournament. Go to the next hand. Rick Epstein here on the live stream and of Poker Night at the Lodge. We're glad you're you're with us tonight. I'm running a little solo here. Looks like Tow Truck is going to rebuy for looks like a hundred more. Ruth is going to keep stacking her chips. There's a raise by the donkey. Up to seven. Kazim will make it 15. FPS Dave and Grande Slick will call, as does Bruce Lee. Looks like we'll go five ways to the flop. Bruce Lee with pocket eights. FPS Dave with pocket threes. Ace three jack, so FPS Dave flops a set. Grande Slick flops top pair, as does Kazim. They both have the same hand. Wow, this could get ugly here. And FPS Dave with his set bets 20. 
into a $96 pot. Do a $76 pot. And it's going to be tough for Grande Slick to get away from this. Top pair. Wow. He lays it down. Good fold by F by Grande Slick. Don't know what the donkey has, but he'll fold. Back over to Kazim. Kazim is going to make the call. Kazim's in trouble here. The turn is a queen. Oh, my goodness. Two, top two versus a set. And Kazim thinks he just smashed it. Call. Call. River is a four of clubs. Doesn't mean anything. So FPS Dave is going to win with his set. And it goes check, check. Wow. No bet on the river. As there was a flush draw possibility that uh, FPS Dave had to slow down with. But flops the set and was able to take it down. Not much damage there to Kazim with top two. He was able to get away from it and lose the minimum. My name is Rick Epstein. I'm one of the hosts of Poker Night at the Lodge. The Lodge Poker Club is Austin's, the Austin area's largest poker club. 20 tables, 30 big screen TVs. Prior to COVID, we were had complimentary food each and every day, which was very popular with the players. We're hoping at some point in 2021 we'll be able to bring that feature back. That was nice. Complimentary food uh, started at 2 and uh, pretty much went through uh, till about 10 in the evening. And uh, good food, too, not, not, uh, not stuff you wouldn't really love. So we're hoping to bring that back in 2021. The big news is the third Texas Poker Championship, $500 buy-in, three-day ones. Listen to this. It was a $125,000 guarantee. The ownership group increased it this week. It's now going to be a $200,000 guarantee. Three-day one starting February 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. It'll all finish on February 28th, and somebody will walk away with enough to go pay cash for a Cadillac. I guarantee you that. A nice Cadillac, too. So $500 buy-in, $75 entry fee. You don't pay an hourly rate for our tournaments. You pay a single entry fee in, and you can buy in as many times as you want in the day ones that we have. We will have a ton of people. We'll have satellites that you can start playing to. So FPS Dave makes it 30. Ruth calls with her ace five. The river is the jack of clubs. FPS Dave makes the straight with his queen. And Ruth is thinking about calling with just an ace. She sees four cards to a straight out there. Plus a flush draw. Be 40 to win about 200. So she's got to be right about one out of every five times for her to make this a correct call. And it's going to be, I imagine she's going to find a way to get away from this. She makes the call and she's going to see the bad news. As FPS Dave shows the queen for the straight. Yeah, four, four to a straight out there is always tough. Plus there's a flush draw. Plus you had an ace with no kicker. But she made the call. And FPS Dave took it down. Up to 18 in the viewership. We appreciate it. We'll grow. You know, the, there are other poker shows that have a lot more views. And we understand that. And we wish them all the best. But... Uh, 
we're taking our time with this. We've got a lot of, uh, we believe we've got fantastic equipment, uh, multiple cameras, high definition cameras, we've got a great table, great club, and we're going to grow this thing no matter how long it takes. Uh, we've got a great title sponsor in America's Card Room. Uh, they've, uh, they really like what we're doing and the energy that we bring. And uh, it, listen, if you play online, give them a chance. America's Card Room. And if you like to play live, give us a chance for your action. The Lodge Poker Club, located at 1401 South I-35. And it's, uh, I believe, exit 251, Hester's Crossing. Easy access on and off of I-35. Probably about a 15, 20-minute drive from here to downtown Austin, depending on the time of day. And Bruce Lee raises it to 70. Over to Tow Truck, who just rebought after going all in on his basically his first hand that he sat down on. And he'll make the call. Joe looks down at pocket twos and will fold them. Now over. To FPS Dave with Ace Deuce. He'll fold. So looks like we're going to go heads up. Bruce Lee against Tow Truck. Tow Truck only with about $85 behind. Queen 7 4. All spades. And it with Bruce Lee on the button, it's up to Tow Truck. And he's going to put it all in and say all in with his 85 chips nice looking watch by tow truck it's huge call from bruce lee don't know what tow truck has he's going to flop over seven five for a pair of sevens bruce lee with ace ten looks like they might run it twice a pair of sevens in the lead right now bruce lee looking for an ace or a ten there's another seven and a 10, so Bruce Lee did hit a 10, but not good enough for trips. There's another 7, trips again, and now a boat, so Tow Truck will win both boards with trips on one end and a boat on the bottom end, and he'll take down the $349 pot. We invite you to participate in the live chat. We'll be going on till probably about a little after 11 o'clock Central Time, probably another hour and a half maybe uh, on this stream. We've been going a few hours, uh, going a little over an hour so far. So the Lodge, you, as I mentioned, uh, you come and join. To join is uh, free. Then we have monthly memberships, daily memberships, yearly memberships. So you can pay by the day, uh, a membership fee, and then you uh, you can sit down and uh, you get charged uh, by the hour, $10 an hour. Unless it's from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., then there is no hourly fee. How about that? No hourly fee, no rake. So you're playing for free there, other than your daily or monthly membership fee to the Lodge. The Lodge does have a bad beat jackpot. Quad 10s has to lose both, both cards in your hand must play. Quad 10s loses, and the bad beat jackpot is hit, and... That goes up each and every month that it is not hit. So check that out. All that information is on the website at thelodgepokerclub.com. Along with all the other information about all the daily tournaments, you can uh, I believe now we're on Poker Atlas. Uh, so you can check out everything if you download that app, uh, which is good. You can go to our website. 
you can call the lodge and just say, hey, what do you got going on today? $45 is the bet by Bruce Lee and Ruth behind with Jack-10 offsuit, a nice playable hand. We'll make the call on the button. And Kazim looks down at 5-7 offsuit. Don't know really what he's thinking of right now. He takes his time with making the fold, and that was kind of an easy fold. And he does. He makes the fold, as does FPS Dave. He'll make the fold. Grande Slick makes the fold, and now we'll go heads up. Ruth against Bruce Lee. Very similar hands. Ruth way ahead now. Seven of diamonds, and Ruth's going to win this hand. Tens over nines. And Ruth shows the ten. Bruce Lee will fold. And Ruth will add some more money. And there, there's a nice little win for the dealer because Ruth was the button and she won the hand. The dealer gets to collect whatever was on top of that button and that was supplied by all the players over the orbit. And... Uh, Frank able to collect two pumpkin chips, which are each valued at $5. So congratulations to Frank. Well earned. Go to the next hand here. Zidonkey is the button. Tow truck in the small blind. Joe in the Big blind, and we've got a raise by Kazim. Don't, don't know if it was a raise or a straddle. The under-the-gun can straddle. That's the only player who can start the straddle process. It's the under-gun gun player here at the lodge. Call by tow truck. Joe will make the call. It was a straddle. So Kazim did straddle, and he's going to take his option and increase it. And he's going to make it now 55, it looks like. So that's the first straddle we've seen. Two folds, and Kazim's going to take that $20 laying in the street and add it to his chip stack. We'll go to the next hand. One, two. No limit hold'em. It's hand number 24 of the stream. Grande Slick will fold. Dylan, a new player, will fold. Bruce Lee looks down at ace 10. Suited will raise it up to 12. Over to Tow Truck. Tow Truck not afraid to put chips in the pl in play. He'll make the call, as does Joe. Kazim will fold. So it looks like we're going to go four players, three players to the flop. Joe with pocket deuces. Bruce Lee with ace-10 suited and Tow Truck with eight-nine. King four deuce, and Joe smashes it with a set, and he'll check and hope somebody bets. He... Bruce Lee obliges him. Quick call by Joe with the set of deuces. Deuces never loses. A queen now gives Bruce Lee a gut shot. Has outs, but he'll fold. And Joe will take it down and gives a nice tip to the dealer, Frank. We'll go on to the next one. Interesting choice of shirt for Joe, which is written across the, the chest area. I wonder if that's his favorite team. 
We thank you for tuning in to Poker Night at the Lodge live stream. Invite you to follow us and share this. And let us know uh, how we're doing. Uh, be as nice as possible. I'm running solo tonight, so normally I'd have somebody with me. So It's not as much humor and banter going on, and I apologize for that. Do wish everybody has a great Thanksgiving, and can't believe it's already coming up the end of November. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for 2020 to be over with. One of the worst years ever that I can remember. And we're ready for some new things and better things to come along. It's been a challenge for all of us. Hopefully good things are around the corner. Grande Slick will make the bet, 15, as Bruce Lee and Ruth will fold. Back over to Kazim, who's looking at his phone. We'll make the call, as does FPS Dave. So we'll go three to the flop. Three to the turn, I'm sorry. Eight on the turn, and FPS Dave, who had flopped the boat, is going to make a bet of 20 and hope somebody takes the bait here. Grande Slick with the straight... It's going to be, and he's going to raise it up. And here comes the re-raise. This is a an unfortunate situation for Grande Slick, who on the turn hit the straight with the 9-7. He thinks he's good here. But the re-raise, three bet to 125 by FPS Dave. And now, Grande Slick has to think, you know, does he have a six? Does he have a flush draw trying to get me off? What does he have? He's going to go all in and a quick call. And the boat is not going to be able to be able to be beaten. And Grande Slick says, you know, you don't even have to show it. I can't win no matter what is turned on the river. And an ace. And FPS Dave is going to win a $683 pot, huge pot, 665, just smashed it with the boat on the flop. And 8 was the key card for Grande Slick because it made him an 8, uh, a straight on the, on the turn. Hard to get away from that. He figured maybe he's on a draw. I'll go all in and try to force him off of it. He went all in, and as soon as he said that, uh, FPS Dave said, I call. And the little placards in front of Grande Slick are money cards. That means he's asked for 300 to be brought to him. So that money will be in play this hand until the chips get back to him. So... He's in and has basically 300 in front of him that he can play on this hand and this hand alone. He might give a placard to somebody to give him some chips to get going. Love to hear from you. Chip count. Kazim leads everyone with about $820 in front of him. Love to hear from you if you're out there in the live chat. Let us know you're you're watching. Bruce Lee folds. Zidonki will make the fold. Joe will make the call. And FPS Dave and Grande Slick will both check and call. So here we go. 8-6 king, two hearts. So FPS Dave is, uh, they all have a pair. Grande Slick, though, has the biggest pair, and he has two pair, kings and sixes, 72% to win. He's going to place a bet out there. He's probably going to get called at least by one of them. FPS Dave has a, a pocket tens. 
Joe will fold. There's the call by FPS Dave. Grande Slick is glad for that. Two pair versus pocket tens. There's an eight, so. Well, two pair was counterfeited a little bit, but he's going to win it with kings and, and eights with the queen kicker. And Grande Slick thought he was counterfeited with the eight after flopping two pairs with the kings and sixes. And there are his chips that just arrived. So that's how it works here at the lodge. You're given a little placard of how many chips your the chip runner is going to bring you. That means everybody knows that that's how many you have in play for that particular hand. So you don't have to wait for the chips. You can play and the dealer will know that you have that much money behind coming to you. Sometimes on a busy night like tonight, it takes the the brush or the chip runner uh, a little bit of extra time to get to the cage, and there might be a line at the cage, and so that's how we do it here. Bruce Lee under the gun with Jack-10 offsuit will fold. Ruth with Ace-7 offsuit will make the call. Zidonkey with Ace-9 suited also makes the call. Tow truck goes out. Joe will make the call. 6-3 offsuit. Kazim, Queen 10, and on the button is FPS Day with 8 6. And the two blinds will make the call. Seven players going to the flop. 14 smackers in the flop, in, in the pot right now. 7 8 Queen, two spades. And Dylan flops a set, middle set. But Kazim will actually be the one betting with the top pair. Queen 10, he's got a pair of queens. Dylan is just going to make the call, and Ruth will call behind. So Dylan with a set here, middle set, playing it slow. Flop comes to seven. So now Dylan's got a boat. Ruth now is, might be in trouble here as she flopped trips with an ace kicker. And Ruth, in fact, is going to make the bet to start the action. She bet 50. Over to Kazim with two pair, queens and sevens. And... The best hand is Dylan, who's sitting there with a boat. 91% chance to win as long as he is, stays in the hand. So Kazim takes a long time to make his decision. He'll fold, as does FBS Dave. So now we'll see if he raises here or just calls. And Dylan is just going to call with the boat. And that's got to be worrisome for, for Ruth there. Nine doesn't help Ruth. She still has trips with an ace kicker. Dylan has the boat. Check, check. He thought that Ruth might take another stab at it. She's too smart for that, especially with the board that was straightening as well as board pair. She does not fall into... The trap there, in order to check raise, you got to have somebody willing to bet. And Ruth was not willing to bet there. So no check raise could come. Now we're up, up to 22. Darth Lando says, I don't understand poker, but Kazim is my boy. All right. Thank you, Darth Lando, for tuning in. Kazim should take you out to dinner tomorrow or lunch or something. He's winning a pot of money. Started off with 300 chips, and he's got uh, close to 800. 15. Tow truck makes the bet, 15. Joe will call, as does Kazim. Grande 
Slick will make the call over to Ruth with a seven. She's had that hand quite a quite a lot tonight. A seven offsuit, and we'll go five players to the flop. Flop comes. Looks like four four six rainbow. And Kazim with pocket sevens is forty seven percent favorite to win, but that won't stop Grande Slick with pocket threes to make the bet. Thirty dollars and Kazim will call it and we'll go heads up to the turn. Turn is a, another six. So sevens and sixes are definitely in the lead right now. 97%. Basically down to one out is Grande Slick. He does not know that right now. And he'll make the bet after a check from Kazim. Maybe tough for Kazim. To call here because a six or a four makes a boat already for anyone out there. He does have a higher pair than what's on the board, so he is playing sevens and sixes right now. Whereas Grande Slick right now is playing sixes and fours. He's playing the board with a three kicker. Almost impossible to win. Actually, is impossible to win. I guess. Uh, Kazim could have pocket deuces, and a deuce would be, but, you know, you can see that there's only one available three remaining in the deck. But that doesn't stop Grande Slick from making the bet. Kazim will call it the $100 bet. Now the pot is ballooned up to $382. A three and only a three for Grande Slick. Ooh, very close. It is a deuce of hearts. So now we'll see what uh, Kazim is going to do. And Kazim is going to take this down with sevens and sixes. With no bet on the river. And the button will move. Bruce Lee, big, small blind. Ruth, big blind. So the next hand involved, we're at hand number 29. Dylan on the button. Tow truck makes it 20 as the donkey folds. Over to Joe now. Saturday night poker here at the lodge. Joe will make the call. Kazim will go out. And FPS Dave will make the call. I'm just going to call him Dave from now on. <laughs> going to drop the FPS. Three players to the flop. Four, six, jack, two spades. A little gut gutty for FPS. Don't know what tow truck has, but he says, I've got a bet. That's what I have. Joe is going to fold. Now it's down to Dave and Dave only. With a gutty and a backdoor flush draw for Dave. Tow truck will be first to act. A three of clubs. And that hits the, the gutty that Dave needed. He's got a six high straight now. Also with a flush draw. back A backup flush draw. 
But the deuce five makes him a six high straight, and he's going to raise it up. Makes it 130. And tow truck going, what can he have here? Tow truck thinking. Don't know what tow truck has. But looks like he might have to make this fold. Well, puts the chip protector back on. Love to have you come and play poker here at the lodge. We've got small tournaments, big tournaments. Got one, two, one, three, hold them. We got big O. We got pot limit Omaha. All sorts of things going on here at the lodge. No matter what your skill level is in poker, if you're just starting out, suggest maybe a, a, a small tournament. That would be probably a good way to get, get your feet wet if you're if you're just learning the game of poker, uh, you may, if you're scared of, of uh, a little intimidated on getting out to a cash table, play a tournament. We've got a free roll on Tuesday night that would be a great one for you to come out to. Every Tuesday night, uh, the free roll is very popular with the players. I believe it's uh, $25 at the door, and then you get your first chips free, and then you can rebuy throughout the night. Very fun time, and that's a good way if you're just getting started in the game of poker and maybe a little intimidated, uh, that tournament is ideal to, to, to come on out and, and give us a try. If you want to play cash, that's that's you're more than welcome. Uh, players and dealers are very friendly, uh, and no one is uh, intimidated. There's no mistake uh, uh, that can be made that uh, you're going to feel like you, you don't belong We'll explain things to you when you ask. Uh, so we're pretty accommodating. Looks like a raise and a call. Raised by Dave and called by Tow Truck. And these two players will go at it again. Dave with pocket tens. Eight for King. Tow Truck playing six deuce. Check, check. And there's a five. So now Tow Truck with a gut shot. Double gutter. And does hit it. So now Tochuk hits it straight. And it's going to make a $60 wager and get called. And now Dave is going to see the bad news that he hit the straight. Six high straight. So uh, both, both players have straighted the other one out of some money here in the last couple hands. It goes back and forth and Frank is able to take the cash tip. You can either tip in cash or the special tip chips that are designed specifically for the dealers. Because the dealer can't take money off the table. So whatever's in front of the player, the only way he can give money to the dealer is either through cash or through specially designed tip chips. Still mute, says FPS Dave, runs like a god. And Dave says, sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Dave is following us on the live stream and playing. Remember, this is a 20-minute delay. So what you're seeing on the screen happened 20 minutes ago. It's like going through a time travel. And we do that for security reasons because we obviously no player is going to be able to see what the other players have in real time. So I believe we're on 20, 25 minute delay. So it's impossible for players to see current hands. They can see past hands and see how players might have played. And there's an all in by Grande Slick with the Jiggities. Pocket Jacks, red ones. 24 p people are watching us now. Thank you. Growing a little bit by a little bit throughout the night. There's a call by Joe. Don't know what Joe has, but he's going to put the rest of his stack in. And Dave will make the call. So a, th a three-way all-in. 
Two all-ins and a call. This is going to be a huge pot. Over $600. And we'll see. Dave with 8-6 suited. Oh, Dave flops the joint. A straight. Now a jack and a jack only are going to do it. Wow. Dave, 8-6, way behind, going to the flop, and just smashes the flop with the joint, the straight. And Joe, that's going to call going to call it a night and give the rest of his tip chips to Frank. And FPS Dave, wow, he is running pretty hot right now. And we're going to need a new player. Says seat nine leaves us. And Grande Slick looking like he might be leaving us too, unless he's just taking a little break. Well, looks like there's two seat opens now, two open seats. As you see in the background, that we have. Here at the lodge, we have massage girls that will provide massages to our players as they're playing. I want to say it's $1.50 a minute, either $1.50 or 2 I don't quite remember. I want to say it's a, I want to say it might be $2 a minute. We'll, I'll find that out. Bruce Lee will fold. Ruth with King Nine suited will make the call. The Donkey with Ace Deuce offsuit will make the call. And here comes a raise by Tow Truck. Tow Truck will raise it up to 30. And why not? Dave, who has been running hot, will make the call with 9 7 offsuit as does Ruth. So let's see if Dave can remain on fire. There's the flop. Oh my god. This is this is getting a little amazing as Dave flops another straight. Flops another straight. Unbelievable. I've This is quite an amazing feat right now as Dave will raise and Tow Truck will make the call. Tow Truck has an open-ended straight draw. A queen on the turn. 55 by Dave. Just hoping for a, a call. After the check from... Oh, my God. Show it. He's going to show it and say, Can you believe how hot I am right now? Unbelievable flopping two straights in a row with just bad starters. And even Dave can't believe it. He's going to need to color up pretty soon because his chip stacks are starting to invade and cross the line. We do have a hard betting line here at the lodge, meaning that little racetrack oval in the middle. If you bring chips over that line, they are in play. So you'll notice that players do not cross, come over with chips and, and cut them out over the line because once you cross line with the chips, that's what stays in. Unless you say, I raise 70, and then you could bring out more than 70 chips and cut out 70. There's Grande Slick back. He went in and got some more chips. Looks like he brought back $210, $220 of chips. Ruth will make the call with ace-five offsuit. Bruce Lee raised it to 12 with ace-jack offsuit. Tow truck. Tow truck, we're not being able to see too many of his hands. Hopefully he's, his sensor is still working. Here we go with the flop. Frank. 
Queen, 7-6. Dave will check, and it'll check all around. To the turn we go. A deuce. And Kazim with top pair is 97% to win this hand as long as he stays in. But Tow Truck is going to make the bet with his mystery hand. Call by Kazim. Looks like 40. And it'll now be heads up between Tow Truck and Kazim. A four on the river. Kazim will show his queen, and Tow Truck says, that's good. He shows his deuce, but not nothing to go with it. And Tow Truck will take down another pot. So Tow Truck and Dave have a ton of chips right now. 1,200 in front of Dave. And about 1,000 in front of Kazim. We'll go to the next hand. <laughs> Ruth will make the call. Over to Zidonkey. The donkey makes the call over to Tow Truck. Tow Truck's been a lot of action tonight. He looks down at King Four of Diamonds. Looks to looks like he raised it up to ten. And Kazim looks down at Queen Deuce will fold. Dave, Dave needs to call anything right now because the way he's running right now, you play it, you run that rush, run that wave. Dave with a Queen Six. Does not smash this flop. Three, five, eight. And looks like Ruth is in front with her open ender. A five on the turn. And a three. So two pairs with an ace. Grande Slick is going to win this hand as long as he stays in. He's going to win it with his ace. And everybody will sh throw it over. And Grande Slick... Has everybody paralyzed, and he's going to take down the pot. So he went and bought, bought some new chips, and those chips were a little luckier than his old chips. Once again, I want to remind everybody, the big tournament coming up in February, three day ones, day 1A, day 1B, day 1C, and then the final day would be on Sunday, and this is all happening February 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, the Lodge Management upped the, the guarantee of this tournament, upped it from 125000 which was already huge. They are guaranteeing, folks, $200,000 uh, prize pool. $200,000 prize pool. That's a huge tournament, folks, right here at the Lodge. It'll be a $500 buy-in, $75 club access fee. That's all happening in February. So keep an eye out for satellites coming soon to the Lodge where you can enter a smaller tournament and see if you can buy your way in through a, a smaller dollar tournament. 8-8 eight, eight jack on the flop. You'll notice that 9-5 of hearts, the heart draw. Dave, of course. Who out there doesn't think that Dave is going to hit a heart on the Turner River? You have to be crazy not to. Three players... To the turn. Not there. Three of spades. And now the donkey with his king. 
nine of spades on the river. And Kazim, who was way behind, hits runner, runner, flush. And Kazim will make the bet, 20. And will take down this pot, showing the seven deuce suited for a runner, runner, flush draw. So we'll go to the next hand. I want to thank our executive producer, Dave Claproth. There's a lot that goes in on this. Lots of equipment, lots of training, lots of technology with the table, with the cameras, with the computers. Uh, and it's, it's a lot more than just uh, clicking buttons. So we want to thank uh, all that Dave does to make these shows happen. And we'll be doing, coming out with uh, another episode of the Sunday Night Tournament, which has been extremely po po popular the last two months. Sunday Tournament starts at 1 p.m. And that's a that's a $200 buy-in, 10K guarantee. Today's tournament, Saturday, was $150 buy-in uh, with a $15,000 guarantee. There were 100 entries, so uh, we... It was, it was pretty incredible. That tournament is probably winding down right about now. Could stick my head out there and see if they've got a winner of that yet. $10 bet raised by Tow Truck. And we've got four other callers. We'll go five of the flop, four, eight, queen, two hearts. Top pair for Ruth. She'll make the bet at 20. Tow truck will fold. Over to Kazim. With not much of anything. And Dave, who's been hitting everything the last hour and a half, will fold. And Ruth is going to win this hand. Ruth chose the queen. She has a nice large poker mask. All players are... We require all players to wear a mask. Total facial covering, mo nose and mouth. We require all players to have their temperature checked before they enter the room. We're trying to be as safe as possible. We realize what's going on in the world, and uh, it's, it's craziness right now, and we hope everybody's as safe as possible. But we do require masks and temperature checks here at the lodge. And we also clean the tables regularly. We have disinfectant for players who want to disinfect their area. We have Lysol wipes and the like. So we try to keep it as clean as possible and as safe as possible while people still want to play poker, you know. $15 raise by Grande Slick. He's got ace jack of spades. Bruce Lee will fold. Ruth will come along with 9-7 offsuit. Having just won a hand, she wants to play another. Kazim will fold over to Dave with 10-5 of diamonds. And Dave can't fold that. Two diamond cards. Here comes the flop. 10 ace king. Two clubs. An ace. Grande slick. With a nice kicker and a gut shot straight draw. It's going to make a small bet and take it down. And we'll go on to the next hand. Coming up at 10.30 Central Time. We realize we're running. A, we're 20 minutes behind what the table is. Both Dave and Kazim have about $1,200 in front of them. It would be nice to see them both get in the pot and see a huge pot coming up. Here at the Lodge, we don't deal bomb pots to the 1-2 table. If you want to play a bomb pot, it's got to be a 1-3 table or above. 
That's just the way we have just kind of worked it out. Got to the point where there weren't too many people uh, enjoying themselves with all the bomb pots that were going on in 1-2. So we made a decision. We're going to play it on the 1-3 table only, and it's going to be once per orbit. Bruce Lee will raise it up to 55 with the ace-king offsuit. Zidonki will call with the ace-10 suited. Tow truck goes out. Over to Dave. Dave will fold, as does Grande Slick. So it'll be heads up between Bruce Lee and Zidonki. About a $155 pot brewing here. Both players with aces. An ace comes out here. We could have action. Queen. Bruce Lee will win this hand as long as he remains in the pot. Not much for Zidonki to call on, and he'll see the bet of 60, 75 and fold. And Bruce Lee will take down the pot. And because there was money on the button, Frank will win some more money. Because Jacob uh, Bruce Lee was the the player on the button, and because there was some tip chips on the button itself, when the player who is in front of the button wins a hand, the dealer is able to collect whatever is on the button for that hand. You'll notice some players around the poker room uh, bring their own liquor. We do uh, allow that. Bring your own beer. Bring your own whatever. Just drink responsibly. We also have the ability to have food delivered here, obviously. In, as we mentioned earlier, pre-COVID, we had complimentary food each and every day, and we hope that comes back sometime in 2021. Don't know when that will be, but right now it's not the time for us to be serving food. But I know it was very popular with the players. So we got raised to five by tow truck. Three other players will call, and we'll go to the flop. Four ways, six deuce deuce. And a tow truck hits trips. And he makes the bet of 10. And because he's been so active, he's going to get some calls. Both Ruth and Dave make the call here. Ruth with, two sp with the spade draw. The turn is the 8. So really, Dave has a gut shot straight draw looking for a five. Tow truck has the trips, and he's going to bet out $50. Dave needed a five and a five that's not a spade. He'll fold. And Ruth will make the call looking for the flush draw. Just hope a 10 of spades doesn't come out because that will give Tow Truck a boat, a jack. Now we'll give Ruth two pair. And he goes all in, Tow Truck, for his remaining amount. Ruth will make the call. And Tow Truck is going to take down that $243 pot. As Ruth didn't hit her spades, but did hit a jack, which made her two pair. Jacks and threes, but it didn't beat a trips. Kazim with a one, a $1,200. Dave with $1,200. Bruce Lee, $720. Ruth, $474. And Cisco is a new player to the table. 
believe he's sitting in seat nine. Cisco replaces Joe, who left. So we'll continue the live stream here, one, two, here at the Lodge. Players are allowed to buy in for his uh, $300 max. So as you can see, most of the players bought in for 300, but a lot of a lot of chips are flying around for those players to have that much money in front of them in the one-two game. Eight jack five on the flop. Grande slick with a pair of eights. Now a nine, which is a diamond. So you got a straightening out there, a flush draw out there. And Cisco will bet 10. And it looks like it's called by Dave. A jack. So four diamonds are out there. And Dave, of course, has a diamond. Pocket six is with the diamond. Don't know what Cisco has, but we'll see if he makes a bet here. He checked. Dave checked. And Zadonkey checked. And Dave, well, looks like there was a, looks like Cisco had ace eight of di he had a, a eight of diamonds, he had ace of hearts, eight of diamonds, and he will take it down with the higher flush than Dave. We we hadn't didn't see Cisco's cards, but he did have the higher flush. You're watching Poker Night at the Lodge. Most of our episodes have been a pre-recorded final table of tournaments. We have had, I believe this is our third or fourth live stream that we've tried. Uh, maybe fourth. We did a Big O live stream last week. And a Hold'em live stream. So we did two live streams last week. We're trying to... We're trying to build up to doing one live stream a week and one recorded episode a week here on Poker Night at the Lodge. America's Card Room is our title sponsor. We want to thank those folks. If you do play online, give them a chance for your action. It's a great site. Very friendly. Very responsive. So if you play online, check out America's Card Room. If you play and, and like to play live, give us a chance. The Lodge Poker Club, located in Round Rock, Texas, about 15 minutes north of downtown Austin on IH-35. $20 is the bet by Dylan. Bruce Lee will fold. Ruth looks down at King-9 with no diamonds in her hand. She'll fold it. Kazim looks down at 4-5. Bottom pair. I don't see how he's going to be able to move forward. But he's got a bunch of chips. You never know. Dylan with the set is going to win it. Set of fives. Even though there are three diamonds out there, no one else had a diamond. We'll go on to the next hand. Frank doing a fabulous job. He's been our one and only dealer. He's said he'll sit in and go for the long haul. Usually dealers here at the lodge get tapped out after every 30 minutes. They called it down. And then they'll go to the next table that they're assigned to go to. And around the room they will go. That's why you'll see a different dealer every 30 minutes. But here at this live stream table, we've got Frank, what they call locked in to this table. And he's not moving at all. 
and usually a dealer will get tapped every 30 minutes in what they call a down. Ruth will raise it up to 20. Tow truck will make the call with 810 of diamonds. And Dave will come along too. Dave with King Jack offsuit. And Grande Slick has his namesake, Big Slick. First time tonight we've been able to say that. Grande Slick has Grande Slick. <laughs> And he'll call. He'll actually three bet to 55. And he'll go over to Ruth, who will make the call with King Jack of Diamonds. Tow Truck will also make the call. Lots of diamonds out there already. Going to be hard for a diamond flush to come. And Dave with King Jack offsuit. So everybody has some high cards here. Except for tow truck. Tow truck with uh, 10 8 of diamonds. Let's see what comes on the flop. Pot already at $225. Four players go to the flop. 10 4 jack. And everybody kind of hits a little piece of that. Except for Grande Slick. But he does have a gut shot and two overs on this flop. Both Ruth and Dave flop top pair with a king kicker. Tow truck Dave flops back door st straight and middle pair. Ruth bet 100. Dave will make the call. Both players with the same hand. Dave just slightly favored because it could go runner, runner, clubs. It's, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a split pot unless someone folds. Ruth goes all in, puts the pressure on Dave. Ruth goes all in for $302. Great play by Ruth. He makes the call, and they're going to chop this pot with a deuce. They're going to go, go multiple times. really doesn't matter. They have the same hand. They went three times, and they're going to chop it up. There was no possible flush draw after the turn. Uh, there was there was a draw, but it wasn't. No one had two clubs. Dave only had one club. So they'll chop that up. They could have run that 17 times, and they were still going to chop that one up. And we'll let Frank do his duty there. Haven't had too many chop pots tonight. Dave and Ruth will collect some money. They got a, they won a few dollars because there were other players involved in that pot early on. And we'll go on to the next hand. November 21st, uh, tomorrow is a day in history in America. November 22nd, a famous day in history. I don't know if any of you know this. A little trivia question. November 22nd, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I know this because as a kid, I was so interested in the assassination I made my parents drive me up to Dallas and go all through the route that the motorcade went we went to the museum we went all over the place uh, kind of morbid as a kid I don't know why I was so interested in it but I was November 22nd 1963 
57 years ago, a day in history for the United States. Pocket Queens for Dylan. And Bruce Lee raised it to 15. Tow truck three bet it to 55. Grande Slick with ace saved offsuit folds. And now over to Dylan, who looks down at Pocket Queens. Ace King versus Pocket Queens versus Pocket Fives. This could get really ugly. Will he four bet it? Pocket Queens. What will he do here? Is he going to fold? Oh, my goodness. Bruce Lee goes all in. Dylan folded pocket queens. Interesting. Maybe he felt that there was an all-in coming. But still, pocket queens, one of the best hands, starter hands in poker. Jack, six, deuce. There's an eight. And no help for Bruce Lee. Oh, they're running it two times. There was a set on the first board for tow truck. 9-7 deuce. Looking for an ace or a king. Doesn't come. Two sets for on both boards. Hard to believe. And wow. That was a good non-call by Dylan after all. Hard to get away from pocket queens when it's just 55 to you before the flop. I mean, let's look at it. I mean, you got you got two hands that are better, two starters that are better, aces and kings. And then here come the queens. Some would argue ace king is better than pocket jacks in the starter hand rankings. But definitely queens are the third best starter hand you could have. And Dylan was able to get let go of them in hindsight. It was pretty smart because he would have lost to a set. They would have run it once, most likely, with three players in. And he would have lost to a set of fives on the river. So I guess Dylan can pat himself on the back. We'll go to the next hand. Coming up on 10.50 in the evening here in Austin, Texas, Central Time. That's the time that we are doing this. And uh, the donkey looks down at 9.6 offsuit. We'll fold it over to... Looks like uh, there was a bet in the ninth seat. Made it 10. Actually, 15. Three players. Other Cisco will raise it. Four players to the flop. Five, eight, eight. Ruth smashes it. Hits a trips on the flop. Checked all the way around. Goes all the way to the turn. Ruth now says she needs to put some money in here. As she's got trips, 94% chance to win if she stays in. Cisco will make the call with King 10, two overs. Uh, actually, two pair, Kings and Eights on the turn, the King of Hearts. So, Ruth with trips and a heart draw. Bruce Lee lets go of his Kings and Eights. And there's a jack. No help for Cisco. And Ruth is going to win this with trips as long as she stays in. She's going to make a bet. Looks like it's 40. She's going to show the 8. 
And Cisco is going to put him in the muck. And Root's going to win another $191 pot. And we'll move on to the next one. Thanksgiving coming up this Thursday. Food, football, and no gifts. My favorite holiday of all time. What's your favorite Thanksgiving side? I, I like, some people call it, do you call it stuffing or do you call it dressing? The, I, I, we call it stuffing, even if it's not in the bird. We still call it stuffing, but down here in Texas, a lot of people call it dressing. But I can't wait. One of my favorite holidays. The lodge will be closed on Thanksgiving. Don't come to the lodge on Thanksgiving. Wait to come either come be the day before, that Wednesday, or come on Black Friday. We'll be open right at 11 a.m. on Black Friday. But don't come on Thanksgiving because all of our employees will be off and allowed to, encouraged to have a good time with their family. Social distancing, of course. Here we go to the flop. Six, seven, ace, two hearts. As Zidonki has a heart draw with the jack four of hearts. It'll go check all the way around. Four of spades. And now an ace on the river. Hard to believe that Bruce Lee will win this with a seven. Aces and sevens. He makes a seven dollar bet for his sevens. Called by Kazim. With a king. Bruce Lee will win that small pot. And we'll go to the next hand. Rick Epstein here. Poker Night at the Lodge. Presented by America's Card Room. They are our title sponsor. We thank them very much for that. Dave Klaproth is our executive producer doing all the work behind the scenes to make it happen, to make the graphics, to make the cameras work. A lot of hard work is involved in this presentation. Looks like a raise by Tow Truck. Kazim and Dave will make the call. Grande Dillon and Bruce Lee will fold. Over to Ruth. Looks at Jack-7, says that's not good enough to call. Over to the donkey, who will make the call. Looks like four players will go to the flop. Flop comes Jack-9-3. And Kazim with top pair and a good kicker with the queen will make it 15. And he'll win the pot. And we'll go to the next hand. Bruce Lee will be the button. Looks like we're going to have a straddle. We haven't seen a straddle in a long time. $15 straddle. The only, the, the only person who can start the straddle process is the under-the-gun player here at the lodge. After the under-the-gun player makes the straddle, then every player after him could increase the straddle, could restraddle. So... We don't have any sleeping or we don't have any button straddles here at the lodge. We had it for about 20 hours. It lasted about less than a day. We did a button straddle, and it just didn't work out. Our players just didn't didn't like it. So we got rid of it, and now the only person who straddled. You can't straddle for any amount of money, though. If you're under the gun, you can straddle for your stack if you want it. Totally legal. I've seen an $800 straddle. Right here at the lodge. 
a few times. So a, a bet by, I believe, Tow Truck made the original bet. No, it was a, it was a straddle. I'm sorry. And the option is checked, so it was a straddle. Flop comes king 5-4. Tow truck open-ended straight draw. Dave with top pair. Those are the two players with the best chance to win. Option to tow truck with the open-ender. He'll make the bet. Looks like 25. Dave will call. Actually, no, actually, Dave will raise to 50. Back over to Tow Truck with the open ender. And just Dave and Tow Truck involved, and he'll make the call. So the pot now at $180 will go actually over 200. There's another, there's a four. So Kings and Fours now. 62% to win. Check, check. Go to the river, a queen of clubs. And Dave's going to win this pot unless he folds. But there's a bet. Must have announced that bet because he came out with chips and then went back to buy more to bring more. And a good call from Dave. He's going to show his kings and fours with the queen kicker. And Tow Truck is going to show the bluff. And the $100, $110 bet is called by Dave. And Dave's going to add many more chips to his already huge stack. Somebody color up that man. Color him up already. Coming up on 11 o'clock Central Time here. We'll go another few minutes here. Next hand already. Cisco looks down to 8-4. Offsuit will make the fold. Kazim. 9-4 offsuit. Fold it up. Dave still stacking chips. Will make the call. I don't even think he looked at his hand yet. 10-7 suited. Over to Grande Slick with 10 deuce suited. Will fold. Dylan with Queen 8 offsuit. Will make the call. Over to Bruce Lee with Jack 10. He'll raise it up. $15. Ruth makes the call. The donkey will fold. Over to Tow Truck. Tow Truck with Ace-9 offsuit. He's been pretty aggressive. Wouldn't put it past me if I saw a raise here. And he goes all in. Wow, he is super aggressive. Dave, Dylan Folded out of turn, it looked like. It's over to Dave now for the all-in call. Dave has 10-7 suited. How lucky is Dave, does he feel? Dave is going to put two stacks out there and make the call. Fold by Dylan, fold by Bruce Lee, fold by Ruth. So it's going to be heads up. 10-7 suited versus ace-9. Basically 3-1 to one favorite. Tow truck. 7, king, deuce. 7. Now two pair. My goodness. It looks like they're running it more than once. So it looks like Dave will win the first one. Always good to win the first one. 
Second one, King Jack, six. With an eight and a deuce. Looks like they're going to chop this up. Both players taken back. That's a lot of excitement for very little money. Frank accepts a tip. And we'll go on to the next hand. Preflop Razor. You see tow truck, 33%. Aggression free frequency. Tow truck, 51%. Bruce Lee, 41%. You see that. That's... A lot of betting <laughs> by tow truck and Dave having one heck of a night keeps stacking the chips up there he and Kazim seem to be the big winners tonight Bruce Lee and Ruth will fold Over to Zedonki, who makes the call on the button. Here he comes again. Tow truck will raise it up to 50. Cisco will fold over to Kazim. Kazim with ace 10 of diamonds. Suited. Ace 10. He's going to make this call. Over to Dave. Dave with 10-8, offsuit. He says, why not? I've got chips. I'll play. I've been hitting left and right. Dylan folds over to Zidonkey, who will go all in with Big Slick, ace-king offsuit. Zidonkey in a sling. Dangerous nonetheless. There's an all-in for tow truck. Don't quite know what tow truck has. But he goes all-in. A little protection for Zidonkey, who went all-in and stood up as if to say, if I lose this, I'm going home. Either that or my back hurts. <laughs> Don't quite know which one it is. So two all-ins over to Kazim now with Ace-10 suited and a pre-tip by Tow Truck. Pretty confident move. And another pre-tip by Zidonki and Frank's loving both these guys. They keep throwing money at them. And the hand hasn't even, the flop hasn't even come yet and Frank's already making money. Kazim, be a tough lay down here, but he's only got ace-10 suited. He's going to lay it down. Dave, Dave don't care. Dave will make the call. This is going to be a huge pot. One of the biggest that we've seen. 777. Dave show, proudly throws over a 10-8 offsuit. You don't have to show in cash games. In tournaments, you have to turn over your cards when all the players are all in. Cash game's a little different here at the Lodge. You don't have to show your cards. Reason for a tournament, why you have to show your cards, is to prove that there's no chip dumping or collusion going on. You must show your cards. That way, folks will know that uh, nobody's working together at the table to try to improve the chances that one of them would win. So that's why you do in tournament. In the cash game, it's, you don't have to show. I'm, I'm being 
Excited to see this flop as we do have a side part going on. Flop comes seven, Jack four. Ace King still in the lead. Another four on the turn. Here's the river. It's a queen. And Tow Truck hits that first one with the queen on the river. Ugh, that's got to hurt for the donkey. Another queen on the, the next board. And Tow Truck, who's been given a lot of action throughout the night, is going to win both boards with a pair of queens with an ace kicker. And he's going to take a, a huge pot. A huge pot for Tow Truck. He was way behind against Ace King, totally dominated. And Zidonki is going to get up from the table. We might have an open seat. Don't know if he's coming back or not. But it's tough to take. You got ace king versus ace queen. Two boards, and a queen comes out on both boards. And we'll go to the next hand. Rick Epstein here as your solo commentator tonight. Sorry about that. We'll get a, we, we usually have at least two play, two commentators in here, sometimes three. We've had three many a time. Never one, and we may not do one again. <laughs> But we tried it out tonight. We're still testing different things. And we'll keep it going. Tow truck, who's been extremely active, looks down at King 5 offsuit, will make the call. Cisco will fold. And Kazim will say, let's play a pot. Four players to the, turn, to the flop. Ace 5-10. Ruth with top pair, not merely much of a kicker. That doesn't keep Tow Truck from betting. Tow Truck with middle pair will make the bet of 12. Ruth will call. Heads up now. Ruth with an ace. There's a king on the turn, and now Tow Truck has two pair. Kings and fives versus the ace of Ruth. Tow truck starting to heat up right now. Bet's 30. Ruth calls. And there's the ace. Oh. Ruth hits her trips. Now makes the bet of 50. It's going to be really tough for tow truck to get away from aces and kings. He really loved the turn. Two pair. Let's see. He makes the call. He, he's been given a lot of action throughout the night. I would not be surprised if he calls here with aces and kings. He does make the call. And Ruth will show him the ace. And Ruth will win this hand. And we'll go on to the next one. Yeah, that was a tough card for Tow Truck there, but Ruth seemed to like it. Ruth had a few more outs than just the ace. 
She could have counterfeited. Tow truck in a number of ways. A deuce. Or an ace. I believe there was one other pair. I want to say an eight. So she had a few more outs than just the ace. But she was able to pick it up with the ace. Dylan looks down at ace three. Folds it. Bruce Lee looks down at eight five offsuit. Folds it. Ruth now with king six of diamonds makes it ten dollars in late position. Both tow truck and Cisco will fold. Kazim and Dave will make the call. As does Grande Slick. Flop comes 9-7 deuce. Two diamonds. Ruth with the king six of diamonds. She's going to make the call after Dave makes the bet with the top pair. There's the queen of diamonds. Ruth is going to win this hand with the flush. But that's not going to stop Dave. Dave's going to make the bet. Bet's 45. Ruth quickly calls. Over to Kazim now with a pair of deuces. So it's heads up now, Dave and Ruth. D Dave will be first to act. Four on the river. Dave first to act will make check. And here comes the bet from Ruth. She puts out a stack, 100, and she'll win another one here. Ruth's starting to heat up. Great player. Mainly a tournament player, but obviously likes to play cash as well. We'll go to the next hand here. Poker Night at the Lodge. Follow us at the Lodge Poker Club. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on the web. Huge poker tournament coming up in February. We, we do have multiple tournaments each and every day. Right now I'm looking out the, the window here and I see a bounty tournament going on. We had a Saturday $150 buy-in tournament, uh, 100 entries. Prize pool was $15,000. Winner was walking away, I believe I saw $4,800. Tomorrow will be a $200 buy-in as we see a flop of Jack 8-8. Eight, eight. With Grande Slick flopping trips, uh, flopping two pair. Now he's got three pair, jacks, eights, and fours. 88% to win is Grande Slick. As Ruth makes a bet with pocket sevens. Three ball on the river. It is a club, which brings in a club draw. But Grande Slick is going to take home $80, take, take down $80. And we'll go on to the next hand. But, yeah, we've got uh, multiple tournaments. Uh, tomorrow, this tournament starts at 1 p.m. It's a $200 buy-in. We've gotten anywhere between 65 players. $10,000 guarantee tomorrow. We've gotten anywhere from 65 players to 115 players in the Sunday tournament. Entries, I mean. And Frank finally gets up out of the chair. Great job, Franklin. As he will leave and have the new dealer come in.
And we'll get the cards in the air again. Got a new player who took Zidonkey's place. And Ruth looks like she's racking up and going to go home with a nice little win. Get home at a normal hour. Ruth folds and Rick is at the table in seat seven. Takes the donkey's place. Kazim calls the five. Bruce Lee option. It's a straddle. Bruce Lee looks like he's going to raise it up to 30. Folds around, and Bruce Lee's going to win this. And Ruth looks like she racked up about $850. I believe she bought in for 300 so... She did fairly well tonight. Not surprising, as she is one heck of a poker player. A lot of women play here at the Lodge. They feel very comfortable, and they're great players. Got a lot, a lot of great women players here at the Lodge. And a lot of great women dealers, so... Fun time. I want to th say thank you to all of our front off front administrative staff up front, the cage people that are in the cage, and the front uh, desk people who check people in and know and greet everyone. Kara, Stephanie, you name it. We've got great staff here. In addition to the dealers, the supervisors, Joe, S, and. Joe P. We've also got German and Alex. And Josh. A lot of great supervisors. So we got a bet from Kazim of 15. Dave calls. Dylan calls. Rick with Queen 7 offsuit. We'll fold it. Tow truck. Folds his six deuce. Flop comes ace nine deuce and a king on the turn. Kazim and Dylan both with ace jack. An eight on the river. They're going to split this pot. <laughs> and they see the news and they're going to split this pot and we'll go on to the next one Lodge Poker Club as we mentioned uh, located at uh, 1401 IH35 I believe it's the exit 251, the Hester's Crossing exit. If you're coming from downtown, get off at Hester's Crossing and just stay on the access road. We're in the water, right next to a water burger. You can't miss that water burger sign. If you're coming from the Dallas and Waco area, you'll get off at the Hester's Crossing and do a U turn and come on over back going north on I 35. So do a UE and stay on the access road. Look for that same Whataburger. And we are in that shopping center. Can't miss it. The Lodge, the largest poker club in the Austin area. 20 tables, 30 big screen TVs. Plenty of fun. You can see the action on a Saturday night. Just in the background, all the action. Those are all cash game tables. 
then in another part of the the room, which you can't really see, is uh, some tournaments tables still going on this late at night as we come up on to the 11.30 hour. Ace-Ace Jack, Kazim, 94% to win this flop trips. Not much else anybody else can have. And we'll move on to the next one. We'll have a straddle. $15 straddle by Tow Truck, who's been a very active player. Bruce Lee on the button. And it looks like we have an open seat in seat nine as they'll try to fill it. Kazim folds. Dave will call with the ace deuce of clubs. Dylan will make the call. And Rick will come along. And the straddle by tow, tow truck, he'll check it down. And here we go. Flop comes ace jack six, rainbow. And Dylan flops top two, aces and jacks. But Dave also flopped an ace. He'll make the bet. $40. And Dylan is just going to call it here. Over to Rick, who also flopped an ace. He'll make the call. He's got ace 10. Dylan, 96% to win as long as he stays in. A six on the turn. Now everybody has at least two pair, but Dylan has the biggest two pair. Dave, though, continues his, his line, his aggression, with a $55 bet over to Dylan. Let's see if he raises it up here just makes the call. He will just make the call. Actually, no, he goes all in. Good play by Dylan here. As everybody has a piece of it, it's going to be hard for people to get away from this. Aces and sixes with a jack kicker for both Rick and Dave. But aces and jacks. It's a call. So, tow truck So Dil Dylan will take that down with aces and jacks. A huge pot for Dylan. And voluntary put in pot. Dave, you can see, 80%. Rick, 75%. Tow truck, 63%. So you can see the V-pip, as you can imagine. Lots of action here on this table. As Dave took a hit to his stack. When Dylan flopped top two. Zim 
and Dillon will make the call, as does Bruce Lee. Cisco changed seats. He went from seat nine over to seat seven. Maybe that'll change some cards up for him. And Tow Truck will raise it up to 25 with Queen Jack offsuit. He's played pretty much just about any two cards and just been aggressive the whole night. Cisco will fold on the button, as does Rick. And Tow Truck will take down that small pot, and now he'll become the small blind. Kazim will be the big blind. Still a seat open in seat nine. Kept this game pretty much full the whole time. Nine player, nine handed here at the lodge. We'll go to the next hand here. Rondé Slick, 3-6 suited. Here comes Dylan. dylan has got some chips. Now he's starting to open it up a little bit. He'll raise it up to 20 with pocket 10s. Bruce Lee with 8-9 suited make the call. Cisco and Rick get out of the way, as does Tow Truck. And Kazim over to Dave now with 3-5. 3-4, I'm sorry, will make the call, as does Grande Slick with 6-3 suited. We'll go to the flop now. Flop comes. 10 jack, 5, 2 diamonds. Dylan flopped the set. He's starting to heat up right now. Flopped two pair a little while ago and now flopped the set. And he'll lead out. Not going to play this one slow. He leads out for 75, and here comes Bruce Lee. We'll make the call. Don't see Bruce Lee's cards here. The turn is the deuce of spades. All in now for Dylan. Don't know what Bruce Lee has. Thinking hard. He makes the call. It's about $350. It. We don't see. We see Dylan. So he'll fold it. And Dylan will take another pot down. And we'll go to the next one. Dylan started to heat, starting to heat up after really the first hour and a half that he was at the table, didn't do much at all. Then in two hands, has built up a pretty good chip stack. Kazim now is the big winner at the table so far. Kazim and Dave were neck and neck, but Dave had a couple of his stacks taken away from him in a big hand with Dylan. Grand Slick will fold. I mean, uh, Bruce Lee will make the raise to 15. Cisco will fold. As does Rick. Tow Truck, who's been active all night, folds his ace-five offsuit. Kazim now will come aboard and call 15 As to, with pocket threes. Dave. Don't know what Dave has. We'll go to the flop. 
Deuce for seven. Grande Slick with fours in the lead here, but he folds it after a bet from Kazim with his pocket threes. Rick will make the call. So now we've got a couple mystery hands. Queen of Hearts on the turn. Got to figure one of these mystery hands might have a heart or two. Here comes the river. Eight of diamonds. So check, 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 and let's see who wins this. Seven and nine, a pair of sevens for Dave. Did not see that his hand, but he'll win it with a pair of sevens and take down that pot. All right. Oh. We're going to go on to the next hand here. You see the V-pip there. Voluntary put in pot. Pre-flop raise. Stats. Tow truck is very active tonight. The aggression frequency. Tow truck leads there. If there was a leading in every category is tow truck. So we'll go on to the next hand. I believe that's Kevin in the box, if I'm not mistaken. Bruce Lee will fold. As does Cisco. Rick will, with pocket nines, will race to 20. Tow truck, 20 to call with queen 10. And that's certainly a good enough hand for tow truck to call. And Dave, who's also been active tonight with king queen suited, will make the call. So lots of good starters. Ace 10, 5. Tow truck with middle pair. Dave with a gut shot. Tow truck will make the bet. Dave will come along. And Rick goes all in for $178. Tow truck gives up his tens. Going to be very hard for Dave to call, even though he's got a gut shot. Rick and Dave. Dave is talking to Rick, asking him a question. I think he's going to get away from this. He does. And Rick is going to win this with a nice bet. Has he got a better hand to fold in tow truck had tens. Rick only had nines there. We really appreciate everybody being with us tonight. If you're watching live or if you watch this sometime in the future, come on out to the lodge. We have a lot of fun here. You will have a good time here at the Lodge. You might even win some money, which is even more fun. Bruce Lee with King Jack suited. 
raises to 15. Tow truck with Queen 7 suited will call Kazim 8 deuce and Dave Jack 3 suited will all make the call. Kazim splashing around in there with the ace, the 8 deuce. 10 4 3. Two clubs. And believe it or not, a three pair of threes is leading, and that's Dave. A nine of hearts on the river, on the turn. And here comes the river. Hey, Rick. Yes. How do I turn this on? Yes, Dave. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Thought I'd jump on here real quick. Yes. You. Dave Klaproth, ladies and gentlemen, the executive producer. Thank you, Dave. You're doing <laughs> such great work. You are doing the work, man. No, this is uh, good stuff. You, you've done great work over the time, and uh, we really appreciate it. Man, can you believe some of these crazy hands tonight? Yeah. No, it's, it's crazy. And we've got a lot of action, you know, a lot of, a lot of, People putting money in play, which is always more fun to watch. Yeah, there's been some crazy coolers, too. Absolutely. So we're coming down to the end of it. We've probably got another few minutes to go here. Before we'll call it a night. We've been going on for several hours now on this live stream. Cisco looks down at Ace 3 offsuit. Under the gun. Hadn't played too many hands. Rick, who just made a good bluff with his pocket nines, gets out of it. And Tow Truck with pocket fives. Tow Truck, our most active player tonight. I thought it was Dave earlier, but Tow Truck took that over. <laughs> yeah, they've been going back and forth. So Grande, Slick will make the call. Dylan and Bruce Lee get out of the way. And Will head to the flop four ways. 10, 8, 10. So, Tow Truck's pocket five still good here. Tow Truck's been really active. Yes. What do you see this flow? Or this oh, turn? my goodness. <laughs> wow. Tow Truck smashes that turn. It doesn't even... See, if he makes a bet here, it, you know, it's, it's just normal. Yeah, because he's been betting the whole time. It's Nobody's going to put him on just a turn boat. Exactly. So, he's got a good chance of... Well, Dave will let it go. Dave usually calls, but he had nothing. And unfortunately, nobody else had anything. And a waste of a turned boat. It makes you wonder if he just checked there and given somebody the opportunity to either bluff at it or maybe catch up a little bit on the river. Absolutely. Might have, might have worked out a little bit better. Dave, you love poker. You play a lot. Uh, and uh, you do such great work here. Uh <laughs> Thanks, man. You and uh, you and Mike are the the heroes here. I love <laughs> listening to you guys. What do, what do you like enjoy most? Uh, do you like tournaments or do you like cash? Um, I like tournaments better, probably just because I'm I'm better at them. I'm not not too great of a cash player, but I'm pretty decent at the tournaments. Yeah, I think it takes a lot of tournaments. Uh, takes a lot of patience for me. Uh, if I'm done, I, I want to be able to get up and walk away. And tournaments, you know, you got to be prepared to stay here <laughs> yeah. hours upon hours. You better be ready for the long haul. Yeah. If you're a good tournament player, it's the patience I see. It, it can be so frustrating, too. You, you do good. You, you stick it out five, six, seven hours, and then you get coolered. And yeah. Well, there you go. That's just poker, though. That's tournament poker. Yeah. So we're going to see Cisco finally getting involved in something. He is ace jack. And Rick with ace four and Kazim with ten four of diamonds. Flop comes ten king nine, two clubs. So Kazim flops a pair. And sixty two percent to win the pot, but that doesn't Cisco's keep Cisco. Got the yeah. Cisco does have a, a, a gut shot and he continues with a bet. And Kazim will get out of the way. So that so many times aggression pays in cash games a lot of times yep if you just got a middle pair of the weak kicker it's pretty hard to call there absolutely 
So as you can see, players are looking at their phones. Some of them are even watching the the live stream. But Dave, you got it on what a 20, 25 minute delay? Yeah, I, we might actually be a little bit longer than that. We we had some technical difficulties at the start of the stream. We ended up kind of cutting in about 10 minutes into what we already had started. So probably about 30 minutes behind. We, we generally do about 20, at least 20, 20 to 30 minutes. So tow truck has the, the straddle on. Kazim will make the call. Dave will make the call. Grande Slick goes out of the way. Dylan will call. Kazim with the crackers. Yeah. <laughs> he does. So let's go over to Rick. Rick will fold. And the back to Tow Truck, who checks his straddle. And we'll go to the flop here. Tow Truck with 9-5 of diamonds. And 4-5 King. Another flopped uh, pair for Tow Truck. Yep, and Dave flops top pair with the King. Dave, Dave, who was super active early, kind of slowed down a little bit, but he'll raise it up, re-raise to 35 from back to Tow Truck, who'll make the call. And Kazim puts some money into it. Kazim with bottom pair. Here comes the turn. Turn is another diamond. Now Tow Truck has a diamond draw and a f pair of fives. Definitely quite a few outs there. Dave will make the bet with the best hand right now. You can see he's 59% to win the hand if, if it stays true for him. Tow trucks, definitely not going anywhere. He picked up another eight or nine outs there on the turn. And Kazim makes the call. Interesting with just a pair of fours here. Very interesting. He's going to have to hit something magical if he wants to hit it. Oh. Uh oh And there it is, my favorite hand, runner, runner. Yeah, diamond flush. Tow truck comes from way behind, but Kazim's going to make a stab at this. He was, he was doing this. To make this bluff on the river, he called with a pair of fours just to make this play. 125 insta snap there by, by FPS Dave. And Tow Truck's just wondering how much he can bet. How much can he pull more out? I mean, does he? I mean, Kazim, this is actually a, a very interesting play from Kazim because he played for exactly this to happen. To be able to bluff on a diamond because he only had a pair of fours. He, he must have just thought they, they, they didn't they, they were nowhere near strong enough to be able to call. Yeah. Couldn't so have been too happy when uh, Dave practically snap called. Yeah. So now, tow truck who has got the nine high flush is just deciding. Does one of does somebody else have a higher flush than me? He's just going to call. No, he's going to go no, all in. It. He goes all in. He ripped it all in. Insta-fold by Kazim. I don't think there's any way Dave can call here. Wow. Not with yeah. that kicker and then an ace on the yeah. river. I mean, how could he possibly? I mean, the ace alone would be something that a king would have to get out of the way from. It, even with, I mean. Even he calls. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Dave, Dave, who worked so hard throughout the night <laughs> to, to build up a huge stack and is giving most of it to Tow Truck, who hits the runner-runner, as you mentioned, Dave, for the flush. You know, as you said, though, Dave, you know, even with an ace on the river, forget about somebody hitting a flush. What about well, just an ace? Well, even not even, I mean, just the ace. What about the king? I mean, yeah. it, it'd be so easy for someone to have king eight, which would, with the eight would play. Yes. Yes. So that will be a huge pot, the biggest pot of the night. I think Dave just thought he had a read there, and it was just unfortunately the wrong read. It's so interesting, that hand, because Kazim, I thought, made a fantastic play. Might have worked if, if one of them didn't have the flush. Yeah. Uh, but it was a huge pot, 1.5 thousand dollars for tow truck and he's going to give wow. a tip and that's going to
probably do it. That I think that's a good one to end on, don't you, yeah, Dave? That's, that's gonna be the last <laughs> one for us tonight. I think I don't think we can top that one. Yeah. So huge uh, pot. Yeah. So we want to thank everybody who's been involved, all the players tonight, and uh, there's even more money coming uh, the dealer's way as a thank you for the biggest hand of the night. I want to thank, obviously, you, Dave, for being the executive producer. Well, and thank you, Rick, for doing such amazing commentary all the time. It's just excellent. Well, and uh, it's my pleasure. And, hey, uh, we, we want to thank our title sponsor, uh, America's Card Room. And we're going to run through the stats here as you'll watch all the chip counts and the other stats that we keep track of. We'll let that run. Hey, come on out and visit us. Check our website, the Lodge Poker Club, and, and come play with us. We'll see you next time on Poker Night at the Lodge. Five.